And in the Northeast Kingdom, a Caledonia County town is still dealing with the effects of last week's flooding. State officials had to close a bridge on a major road because they say it is just not safe to cross. NBC5's John Hawks was in St. Johnsbury today where people are really, really frustrated by the detour that's in place. The bridge is on U.S. Route 2 in East St. Johnsbury, and crews were out Wednesday working to replace it. Ellie McManus owns Aspire Behavioral Clinic, which helps kids with autism nearby the bridge, and she says that the closure has been affecting her students getting out and about. During the day, we take the kids down to a local school to uh, play on the playground. Um, yesterday, we were actually going to go to Lancaster to see a movie, which we weren't able to do because to, to go there would be um, a long ride for the kids. Um, so that's impacted the kids being able to get out every day, um, and get sunshine and fresh air. Officials inspected the bridge and conducted a temporary fix. The last week's raging flood water ripped out the earth underneath the bridge's supports, leaving them floating. As the water went lower and lower, we realized there was a massive void underneath the abutment. So basically the abutment was just hanging in the air. And upon finding that, we had to immediately close the bridge. The current state of the bridge is unsafe and needs to be totally replaced. The VTrans crew and contractors will tear down the old bridge and replace with a new temporary one in its place across the 14-foot span. A Herculean effort was launched. It's going to be a full-width, two-lane, uh, temporary maybe bridge. It will be an unrestricted bridge. Um, and we are going to do everything in our power uh, to have that bridge open five to six days from today. The detour is long, diverting people miles into Littleton or Lancaster, New Hampshire. So what would have taken us probably 20, 25 minutes to get to Lancaster would probably take us close to an hour. Officials are asking for people's patience while they fix the bridge, as crews have been out working hard all around the state. We're having problems with people throwing our signs and barricades over the side of the road because they're frustrated. And please, if, if you folks could partner with us, that is so dangerous for the next person. VTrans will continue to bring updates about this road closure and all others around the state as soon as they become available. In St. Johnsbury, John Hawks, NBC5 News.